Nice and today I'm here with my friends Jay and Fitz. Thank you guys for being on the show. We're doing a little at home science. We're going to do some cymatics or science of sound experiments with some non Newtonian fluids. What's a non Newtonian fluid, Jess? I'm so glad you asked. Let's talk about the Newtonian fluids. We have things like water. You guys know water, right? I've heard of it. Water is a, is a regular Newtonian fluid. When you move your hand through it, it's basically consistent viscosity. How much it moves is going to stay the same uh, based on if you like hit it really hard or if you hit it really soft, as opposed to some non-Newtonian fluids. I got some ketchup here, okay. and the interesting thing about ketchup is like if you stick a spoon through it like really hard, it's going to actually make it like a lot easier to go through. Like you cut Which it through. Which is like how you expect it. Yeah, how you expect it, and like yeah. the more you kind of like mess it up, it's just like all right, it's getting through the camera. But if you kind of like touch it really gently, and you just kind of like caress the outside. Which is how I, I, I never deal with my ketchup so gently. <laughs> yeah. I'm always pretty rough with my ketchup. It's, it's going to give you more of like a bounce back. It's going to give you a little bit more resistance to it. But the really fun non-Newtonian fluid that we're going to be playing with today is a cornstarch and water solution. The reason why cornstarch and water is so much fun to play with is because you, if you run your finger or a spoon really gently through it, you can see it looks like a fluid. It looks like you could just pour this over someone or whatever. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you would, but so if you hit it really hard though, and you put more stress on it, it actually makes it look a lot more like a solid. That's so, crazy. Yeah. So if you, if you put more stress on it and it's gonna like do kind of crazy things, what do you think might happen if we stick this in a speaker cone and run some, like, hurts through it? <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Let's find out, Let's Jay. Let's find out, Fitz. <laughs> let, me just, let me introduce you to these guys. Uh, Jay is a prolific stand-up and improv comedian. Changing the world. He is uh, a talented musician, as is Fitz who is also an incredible beatboxer. Oh, thank you. He's also I funny bet. and charming. Oh. They are both oh. super handsome people. <laughs> These um, are actually our uh, Tinder date profiles. <laughs> <laughs> Jess wrote them, thank you so, so much. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. So now that we have our non-Newtonian fluid uh, cornstarch solution inside our speaker cone, I'm gonna run a tone generator through it at about 25, 30 hertz or so, and you're gonna see the cornstarch start to do some crazy things. <laughs> I did. I already. I took a 
my bow. Awesome. Right. Swag, um, swag. Thank you guys so much for coming and doing this. <laughs> thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Uh, let us know what you thought of the video. Put a comment in the comment section below. Like it if you like it. Subscribe to uh, Everyday Science TV. And also, uh, these guys are on Vine, YouTube. You want to shout out your handles? 80 fits across the board. 80 fits. Jay Walker. Uh, just, just, just Google it. Without the E. Without the E and Walker. It's confusing. It's confusing. <laughs> it's bad. Jay Walker. Bad I know. <laughs> terrible marketing. There's another Jay Walker out there. I'm sorry. Man, guy. I, I don't like that guy. Jay Walker and 80 Fits. All right, guys, thanks so much. Science. Thank you later. So, what are your favorite subjects of science? Space.